Well, hey YouTube, happy Tuesday. In the time, I have been enthralled in the trenches of work responding to uh, some patient uh, issues. I'm sort of mindlessly eating these raw mushrooms in an effort to figure out something to eat. I love mushrooms. I can just eat them raw like this. But fun derm fact, guys, there's something called shiitake mushroom dermatitis. Oh my God, this is why I love dermatology. I'll have to share this with you. If you eat large amounts of raw, not cooked, raw shiitake mushrooms, you can develop something called flagellate hyperpigmentation. And it's called that because it basically looks like somebody flagellated you or beat you. So can you see this, guys? It looks like this poor woman has been flagellated with a broom or something. Now she's got these crazy streaks of red rash. So yeah, take home point. Make sure you cook your shiitake mushrooms. These are the Monterey whole mushrooms that I've been getting at Costco. They're organic. Just cracking in to whip up the pineapple. I should have picked up an extra box to have on hand. I've actually never ingested a Ferrero Rocher. Somehow I feel like 96 Ferrero Rochers for a party of one is a uh, I don't know, that may be a new uh, nutritional goal. You know, there's always a fad diet, right? Like ketogenic diet. What if we had a Ferrero Rocher diet? You ate a serving of these for each meal? You'd at least be happy, right? It's got a nut in the center, right? I mean, that's gotta count for something. I'm one of those people I like things to be uniform and symmetric. And by those people, I mean neurotic. <laughs> well, all right, guys, another successful pineapple dunzo. This took me all of like four minutes to whip together. All right, so I'm headed out to the vitamin store because I want to see if they have this mushroom powder that I keep seeing everybody jazzed about, this reishi tea. Um, I've got it in my head. I want to check that out. Don't ask me why. We were on the topic of mushrooms this morning, and it just got me wanting to see if they have it. Um, I'm wearing this scarf more for effect. It is not the least bit cold out. I know a lot of people who are into this C4 pre-workout stuff. What does it have in it? Just a bunch of caffeine. Explosive energy blend. What the heck is velvet bean? Oh, it's got niacin in it. Ni niacin's a vasodilator. So, I'm trying to not overdo it with the natural calm because I feel like that's probably too much magnesium. So I'm here also looking for emergency because I feel like that would be a decent substitute to have vitamin C. Hard to overdo it on that. You just pee it right out. The protein powder selection is like... That's sweet. They've got a good selection of this. Does this have sugar in it? Oh, it's got zinc in it. Hey guys, there's some evidence that zinc is helpful for acne, FYI. I don't know what this knockoff brand, NRC, is, but look, they've got a pineapple coconut one. Does this have caffeine in it? What's the Ener in NRC? Is it just the power of the vitamin C? Hopefully they cooked this beforehand, otherwise you're gonna get a flagellant dermatosis. <laughs> I also wanna get some turmeric tea. Have you guys tried golden milk with turmeric? All right, so I did end up getting some samples of this mushroom-based drink, so we'll see. They had a chocolate one in there that I was intrigued by, but it was like 35 bucks for a canister of it, and I was like, I don't think I can commit to 35 bucks of mushroom powder, but I don't even know if it tastes like dirt or not. All right, so I just got back from the vitamin shop, and I'll show you what I got as far as those little packets. Caracory Fit Life is a gal I follow on um, YouTube. She posts a lot of like little fun uh, recipes and stuff and she showed the spritzer thing and I kind of want to make it but I got this one in the flavor pomegranate blueberry, a cranberry one, two orange and then I'm most excited for this pineapple coconut one and then as far as the mushroom thing I've been jazzed about this claims to have this immunity mushroom blend it's got himenatatsutsutaka I don't even know how to say that shiitake turkey tail cordyceps maitake and reishi mushroom in it um, what that's supposed to do for me, I have no clue, but I wanted to give it a whirl. I got that one, and then I got their original one. I, somehow, I think I'll start with the original one, see how I like it. I've got another box here to crack into. Another fun dermatology mushroom fact, guys. There is a mushroom-derived compound called kojic acid that uh, has a lot of people jazzed as an ingredient in some creams to treat melasma and dark discoloration under the eyes and um, dark discoloration after maybe a pimple heals, for example. This compound has been shown in, um, in lab studies, at least, to inhibit uh, tyrosinase, which is the enzyme that um, makes uh, melanin in the skin. And uh, it does it by chelating copper, they showed. So copper's essential for tyrosinase. Or has anybody used something with kojic acid? If so, comment below. Um, since today turned out to be all things mushroom, I 
Don't ask me how I got on this mushroom tangent, guys. I just, I do not plan these things. But, speak of the devil, I think I'm gonna give this bad boy a whirl. Ew, it's vibrant. All right, so it blended up no problem. I feel like I need a, a lid. I'm like a toddler, I spill everything. I almost need like a sippy cup. All right, guys. It definitely tastes like something you would feed a guppy. Well, I'm going to choke this down, and uh, that's going to conclude the vlog for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. Tap that little bell up there for notifications. Um, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.